It was around the late 90s. I looked in the mirror and said, I want to cure acne. I don't care how I do it, I just want to do it. I'm Rox Anderson. I'm a professor of dermatology at Harvard Medical School. I practice at Mass General Hospital, and I am the director of the Wellman Center for Photomedicine, which is the world's largest lab where we study light. The story with Accure starts really with the people that are currently running that company. I had this stuff in my head about wanting to come up with a laser that would actually work for treating acne. And Christopher Carlton and his colleagues literally showed up one day and said, Rox, what would you like to do? It was a carte blanche. And I said, let's cure acne. It wasn't clear at first, you know, can we pull this off? Can we get enough power, uh, the right pulse duration? We had to figure out a sequence of optical pulses that would target the gland safely and effectively. A few twists and turns along the road, but then we finally got, <laughs> got where we're going. The Accure laser is doing its job. It's doing it within a fairly narrow window of efficacy and safety. The efficacy of this laser to come in in a fairly short time, you realize it's three or four treatments spaced a month apart, I think uh, will compete in practice with oral retinoids for the patients who have uh, significant acne. This laser is in a way colorblind. So many of the lasers uh, are difficult to treat people of color because they're at wavelengths that are absorbed by melanin. This wavelength is not absorbed at all by melanin. I think of durability as just simply how long does a treatment that's effective really work? And I think the answer will be that this is very durable response. But a lifetime of acne scarring is a big deal. So I, I view this as preventative, which is another form of durability. I'm pretty confident that the answer is a great answer there. The effectiveness is really good. My experience in the past has been that if, if you come up with something that really works and it's brand new and we don't have it, that somehow the world organizes itself in a way that allows it to get out the door. <laughs> and, you know, that, that's, I think, going to happen.